Welcome to Sports Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Bob Knight's coaching tree spread far and wide. Golden Knights see post RSN boom on Scripps Rabbit Ears channel. The Matildas are through to the final stage of Olympic qualifying and they're on a collision course with Taylor Swift. Just be merry, Fowler fever in overdrive as Matilda's star dazzles. Saints host first NFL flag regional tournament NFL slime time. Bob Knight's coaching tree spread far and wide. Associated Press. Bob Knight's coaching tree includes notable figures such as Mike Krzyzewski, Bill Parcells, and Chris Beard. Krzyzewski, who played for Knight at Army and served as his assistant at Indiana, went on to have a record-breaking career at Duke, winning five national championships and surpassing Knight as the Division I career victories leader. Parcells, who worked as a part-time assistant under Knight at Army, had a successful career in the NFL, winning two Super Bowls with the New York Giants. Beard, hired by Knight as an assistant coach at Texas Tech, has become one of college basketball's top young coaches. The article also highlights other members of Knight's coaching tree, including Steve Alford, Mike Woodson, Keith Smart, Pat Knight, Mike Davis, and Dusty May. Golden Knights see post-RSN boom on Scripps Rabbit Ears channel. Yahoo! Sin City's NHL team, the Vegas Golden Knights, are reaping the rewards of a switch from a regional sports network to an over-the-air broadcast partner. The Knights' first five games on Scripps Sports Vegas 34, KMCC, have averaged an 8.5 household rating, compared to last season's average of 3.6. The ratings are up 135% compared to the team's full-season local numbers on ESPN and TNT in 2022-23. The Matildas are through to the final stage of Olympic qualifying and they're on a collision course with Taylor Swift. ABC. The Matildas have advanced to the third and final stage of qualifying for the 2024 Olympic Games after winning three consecutive games in Perth. The team will face Uzbekistan in February for a chance to qualify for Paris 2024. The final round of qualifying will consist of two-legged playoffs, with the winners of each matchup earning a spot in the Olympics. The Matildas will be overwhelming favorites against Uzbekistan, which has never reached the Women's World Cup or Olympic Games. The team is currently ranked 50th in the world. Just be merry, Fowler fever in overdrive as Matildas star dazzles. ABC. Mary Fowler, a rising star in women's soccer, has been receiving increasing attention and hype after her impressive performances during Australia's Olympic qualifiers. The 20-year-old forward, who plays for Manchester City, has caught the attention of Matilda's coach, Tony Gustafsson, and is being compared to the likes of Sam Kerr. Gustafsson wants to ensure that Fowler is not burdened by expectations and responsibilities, allowing her to play freely and enjoy the game. Fowler credits the freedom and support from Gustafsson and her teammates for her success. The Matildas will face Uzbekistan in a playoff in February for a chance to qualify for the 2024 Olympics. Saints host first NFL flag regional tournament NFL Slime Time. Yahoo! The New Orleans Saints recently hosted the first NFL flag football regional tournament on their show NFL Slime Time. The tournament featured teams of kids from around the country competing in a flag football tournament. The event was a way for the NFL to promote the sport of flag football and encourage youth participation. The tournament was a success and received positive feedback from both participants and viewers. Match day, Villarreal and Valencia face lower division clubs in first round of the Copa del Rey. Associated Press. In the first round of the Copa del Rey, top flight clubs Villarreal, Valencia, Granada, and Alaves will face lower division clubs. Villarreal will play against Chic Lana, Valencia against Lagrones, Granada against Arosa, and Alaves against Deportivo Murcia. The first round is played in single elimination games at the home of the lower division teams. Knight's illustrious career defined by list of achievements. Associated Press. The article provides a summary of Bob Knight's career highlights as a basketball coach. Knight had an overall record of 902 to 371 in 42 seasons at three schools, Army, Indiana, and Texas Tech. He retired in 2008 as the Division I career victories leader and is currently fourth all-time. Knight won three national championships as a coach, in 1975-76, 1980-81, and 1986-87. He also won a national championship as a player with Ohio State in 1960. Knight coached the last undefeated team in Division I men's basketball in 1975-76. He is one of three men's coaches to play on and coach a national title team. Knight made five Final Four trips and won gold medals as the head coach of the 1984 U.S. Olympic and 1979 U.S. Pan American teams. He won 11 Big Ten regular season championships and holds the Indiana record for career wins. 
Knight was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 1991 and the College Basketball Hall of Fame in 2006. UEFA punishes Serbia and Montenegro after offensive chance at Euro 2024 qualifying game. Associated Press. UEFA has ordered Serbia to play its last home qualifying game for the European Championship in an empty stadium due to offensive chants by fans against Montenegro. The Montenegro Soccer Federation has also been charged with racist behavior from the game in Belgrade in October. Both federations were previously punished for the same offenses when the teams met in Montenegro in March. Serbia must play its Euro 2024 qualifying game without fans when it hosts Bulgaria on November 19. The Serbian Federation also faces other charges including failure to take action against black market ticket sellers and must pay fines totaling nearly €90,000, $95,000. The Montenegro Federation must pay a €20,000, $21,000, fine and cannot sell tickets to fans for a qualifying game in Hungary on November 19. Hungary and Serbia are expected to advance directly to Euro 2024 in Germany by finishing in the top two places in the group standings. Bob Knight's words reveal good, bad, ugly of storied coach. Associated Press. Basketball Hall of Fame coach Bob Knight died on Wednesday at the age of 83. Knight won three national championships and 902 career games, and he led the last undefeated Division I men's basketball champion. He won an Olympic gold medal in 1984 and a national title as a player for Ohio State in 1960. Knight was known for his memorable quotes, including, If you want to be a real winner, you have to consider a place like Indiana and defense is the key to winning in any sport and that's what I believe in. The NHL is trying to follow Taylor Swift's lead by selling out MetLife Stadium multiple times. Associated Press. The NHL is hoping to replicate the success of concerts featuring Taylor Swift, Bruce Springsteen, and Beyonce at MetLife Stadium with back-to-back -back outdoor hockey games this winter. The New Jersey Devils will play the Philadelphia Flyers on February 17, followed by the New York Rangers against the New York Islanders on February 18. NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman expects both games to be sold out. The league is on track to set an attendance record this season, and the two outdoor games at MetLife Stadium could be the best attended weekend in league history. The state of New Jersey also hopes the success of the games will help secure the venue for the championship game of the 2026 Men's World Cup. Bob Knight's death brings the reckoning of a legacy. A day we knew would come. Yahoo! Bob Knight, who won three NCAA basketball championships with the Indiana Hoosiers and is one of the most divisive coaching figures in U.S. sports history died on February 8. He was 90 years old and had been in failing health in recent years, his family said in a statement. Knight was fired from Indiana in September 2000 after a student accused him of grabbing him by the arm. He also had a long history of other controversies, including a highly publicized chair-throwing incident in 1985, and was known for his temper and sometimes violent outbursts. Knight began his career as a college head coach at Army in 1965. He led the cadets to the NIT tournament in 1970, then took the Indiana job, where he would coach for the next 29 seasons. Knight won three national championships at Indiana. The team's undefeated 1976 season is the last perfect season in college basketball. Knight also led Indiana to 11 Big Ten titles, three Final Fours and five Elite Eights. Decock, Vander Dussen hit tons as South Africa thump New Zealand at World Cup. ABC. South Africa secured a comprehensive 190-run victory over New Zealand in the Cricket World Cup. Quinton de Kock scored his fourth century of the World Cup, while Rassi van der Dussen hit a ton as South Africa posted a formidable total of 357. New Zealand collapsed to 5-90 in their chase and were ultimately dismissed for 167. The victory moves South Africa to the top of the standings and makes it likely that they will avoid India in the semi-finals. Will Raiders release Jimmy Garoppolo this season? Yahoo! The Las Vegas Raiders are considering cutting quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo before the end of the season. Garoppolo has $11.25 million in injury guarantees that become fully guaranteed in March 2024, but the Raiders could release him before the guarantee vests. The team is concerned that Garoppolo is injury-prone and keeping him on the roster could result in owing the full amount of the future guarantees if he sustains a freak accident. The Raiders may decide to cut Garoppolo now if they believe he is not part of their future plans. Foxconn makes your iPhone. Now it wants to make your electric car. Bloomberg. Taiwanese electronics manufacturer Foxconn, which is known for its production of iPhones and other consumer electronics, is looking to transition into the automotive industry. 
The company is setting up automotive production lines at various sites around the world, including the former General Motors plant in Lordstown, Ohio. Foxconn's goal is to become a manufacturer of electric vehicles, EVs, and is offering its services to legacy car companies and startups wanting to get involved in the EV revolution. Foxconn's pitch is that it can supply, design, or assemble any part of a car at a faster and cheaper rate than its competitors, similar to the promise it once made to Apple. The EV outsourcing market is predicted to be worth $36 billion by 2025 and $144 billion by 2030, according to analysts at Goldman Sachs. Foxconn is looking to capitalize on this potential and says that, with some expansion, it can build 500,000 vehicles a year in Ohio, though the company has not yet identified which car brands it will be working with. Foxconn CEO, Young Lu, believes that automakers need a company like Foxconn to manufacture their vehicles as costs rise and that Foxconn needs bigger markets, such as the automotive industry, to continue growing. However, building EVs is more challenging than building smartphones, and the political context is different. Foxconn has limited experience manufacturing in the US and has faced accusations in the past of poor treatment of workers. The company will also have to contend with rising costs and labor disputes, which have plagued automakers like Ford and GM. Despite the challenges, Foxconn remains confident in its ability to navigate the automotive industry and believes that it can form partnerships with major car companies and startups looking to enter the EV market. Jet's offensive line remains a shuffled mix of big men up front because of injuries. Associated Press The New York Jets have seen their offensive line decimated by injuries this season with the team set to field its fifth different starting lineup in eight games. The starting lineup against Los Angeles Chargers could include left guard Lakin Tomlinson, left tackle Mackay Becton, center Xavier Newman or Joe Tipman, right guard Billy Turner or Roger Saffold and right tackle Max Mitchell. And that's a wrap for today's news highlights. We covered a wide range of topics, from the legacy of legendary basketball coach Bob Knight to the success of the Vegas Golden Knights and the Matildas' journey in Olympic qualifying. We also touched on the NFL's flag football tournament, Copa del Rey matchups, UEFA's punishment of Serbia and Montenegro, and the NHL's plans for outdoor hockey games. And let's not forget the latest in cricket, NFL, and the automotive industry. Now, let's dive deeper into some of these stories. Bob Knight's coaching tree is truly impressive, with notable figures like Mike Krzyzewski, Bill Parcells, and Chris Beard branching out from his influence. It's fascinating to see how his coaching philosophy has shaped the careers of these successful individuals. And speaking of success, the Vegas Golden Knights are reaping the rewards of their switch to an over-the-air broadcast partner, with significantly higher ratings compared to last season. It just goes to show that accessibility plays a big role in attracting viewers. On the topic of sports and women's soccer, the Matildas' journey in Olympic qualifying has been remarkable. They're now on a collision course with Taylor Swift, metaphorically speaking, as they face Uzbekistan for a chance to qualify for the 2024 Olympics. And one player who has been garnering a lot of attention is Mary Fowler, who is being compared to the great Sam Kerr. It's always exciting to see young talents make a name for themselves in the world of sports. Shifting gears to the NFL, the New Orleans Saints hosted the first-ever NFL Flag Football Regional Tournament. This event not only promotes flag football but also encourages youth participation, which is crucial for the future of the sport. And in the world of European football, we have the Copa del Rey matchups, where top-flight clubs will face lower-division teams in single-elimination games. It's always interesting to see the underdogs challenge the giants of the game. Now, let's talk about the legacy of Bob Knight, who sadly passed away. He had an illustrious career and left a lasting impact on the world of basketball. From his coaching achievements to his memorable quotes, Knight will always be remembered as one of the greats. And speaking of legacies, UEFA's punishment of Serbia and Montenegro for offensive chants reminds us of the importance of promoting respect and inclusivity in sports. In other news, Foxconn, the Taiwanese electronics manufacturer known for producing iPhones, is venturing into the automotive industry. With the rising demand for electric vehicles, Foxconn sees an opportunity to become a major player in the EV market. While there are challenges ahead, such as manufacturing complexities and labor disputes, Foxconn remains confident in its ability to navigate this new territory. And finally, the New York Jets' offensive line has been hit hard by injuries, resulting in a shuffled mix of players. It's a tough situation for the team, but they're doing their best to field a competitive lineup. So there you have it, folks. A fun-filled day of sports news, from the world of basketball to soccer, cricket, and even the automotive industry. I hope you enjoyed today's highlights and analysis. Now, it's your turn. 
What are your thoughts on these stories? Do you have any questions or opinions? I'd love to hear from you. Let's keep the conversation going. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.